Detectives are staring at Tom and Jackie Hawk's missing SUV. It's spotted outside a house near Ensenada, Mexico. Sure as hell, here's, here's the Hawk's vehicle sitting there. Is this the break Newport Beach Detective Sergeant David Byington has been waiting for? The Hawks mysteriously disappeared more than a month ago. Last seen heading out to sea on board their yacht, the well-deserved. I started thinking to myself, please be the Hawks. A Mexican federale takes the lead and knocks on the door. Detective Byington speaks very little Spanish, but even he understands what the man says. And the gentleman inside the house, he said the name Skylar De Leon. The same Skylar De Leon who bought the well-deserved and he wasn't alone. And then I hear the same Mexican gentleman inside say Jennifer's name. The gentleman at the door is an old surfing buddy and says Skyler gave him the car. After that, De Leon's very pregnant wife, Jennifer, picked him up and drove him back to the States. He swabbed the uh, knobs within the car and ended up hitting Skyler's DNA on a heater knob in there. So it turned out to be amazing. Detectives now believe something bad happened to Tom and Jackie on the well-deserved but what? I mean, everybody's trying to find them. Nobody knows where they are. Orange County District Attorney Matt Murphy smells big trouble. How would you describe this case? Well, this, this case was uniquely diabolical. Murphy suspects Skyler and possibly his wife Jennifer are both involved in the Hawks' disappearance, but he needs proof. So he circles back to that power of attorney. Skyler told detectives the Hawks willingly signed it, hoping De Leon could help them buy a home in Mexico. They had a durable power of attorney. Yeah. Okay, and that makes no sense. No sense. Okay. That would give this young, you know, 22, 23 year old couple. Strangers to them still. Strangers to them still access to their bank accounts. Here's the problem. The notary, a woman named Kathleen Harris, tells cops it's the real deal claiming she witnessed the Hawks signing the papers and personally took the required fingerprints to make the documents legal. She said, I was down there, I saw the transaction, um, I didn't see how much money was in this suitcase, but she tells the same story that essentially that Skylar told. They also had fingerprints all over the documents. But when cops asked the notary to physically describe Tom and Jackie Hawks, she stumbles. She describes Tom to a T, but she described Jackie as having brown curly hair, which was odd because Jackie, when they moved on to the Well Deserves, she cut her long curly hair and she spiked it and dyed it, uh, dyed it blonde. So that was one of those things that it was, it didn't quite make sense. Could the notary just be confused? Remember, the fingerprints on the power of attorney are an exact match and the signatures also appear to be legit. Was it Tom's actual signature? We send these things off to the FBI, and the finest handwriting experts in the world look at it and go, that is Tom's signature? The experts also confirm it's Jackie's signature, but there is something strange. Their last name is Hawks with an S, okay? And she wrote Jackie Hawk, and somebody else came in later and wrote in an S that's inconsistent with her signature. Murphy believes Jackie may have been secretly trying to alert someone they were in deep trouble. She wanted to send a signal to somebody in the future that something here is not right. And just as Murphy is about to turn the spotlight on the De Leons, the DA gets tipped off. Skyler is about to scramble like a cockroach looking for cover. Suddenly, Skyler contacts his probation officer and says, can I get permission to leave the country? So the quick thinking DA comes up with a plan and it's all caught on audio tape. What's going on? We got a warrant for the arrest for, uh, right now it's for money laundering. Remember, during Skyler's interrogation, he confessed to laundering money from a Mexican drug deal. I'm in here. I sit and try and help you guys out, and then I get in trouble. And what grounds do you guys have for arresting me for, um... You know, I can't discuss it with you now. As the officer moves in to cuff Skyler, who is reportedly wearing an adult diaper at the time, you can hear Jennifer in the background making one final demand before her husband is hauled off. You know, his daughter away? I think the, the best thing to do is just get him out of here. So they arrest Skyler, and you, you know, Jennifer has the gall to start being angry at the police officers. Like, you have some nerve to take my husband away, and it was just an, an unbelievable scene. 
Detectives also head to that converted garage apartment at Jennifer's parents' place where the two have been living. Cops hit the jackpot. They find all of Tom and Jackie's stuff. They find their camera. They find, you know, driver's license and other kinds of very personal belongings. And detectives can't help but notice that in Jackie's driver's license, she looks remarkably similar to how the notary described her. So that raised suspicions about the notary. And did the notary actually witness this, these documents being signed or not? Cops are beginning to suspect there are more people involved with the Hawks' disappearance than just the De Leon's. A lot of people could have stopped this. A lot of people. It was a perfect storm. Detectives also stumble across something else in the garage that raises a few eyebrows. One of my detectives found a business card from LAPD, and the detective was assigned to as a liaison with Interpol. Newport PD contacts the Interpol agent, and when detectives reveal they're investigating Skyler's possible involvement in the disappearance of the Hawks, the agent hits them with a jaw dropper. And he says, well, it's funny because I was talking to him a year ago. We were looking at him for a murder of an American citizen in Mexico. And I go, they killed the Hawks because this is no way. That, you know, this is too much of a coincidence. But Mexican federales could never link De Leon to the murder. We have no proof that he did anything illegal, but it stinks on ice. The noose is quickly tightening around Skylar De Leon and the disappearance of Tom and Jackie. Cops just need to figure out motive and method. We don't know how it took part, but we're trying to come up with some type of scenario how this would occur. On a hunch, Murphy calls an old boating buddy he met in Indonesia named Salty Sam. I'm like, hey, man, what should we be looking for on a boat if we're trying to figure out if there was a murder committed? And without skipping a beat, he said, look for missing anchors. Investigators go back to the ad the Hawks had placed in that yachting magazine. And in every single photo, there were two anchors on the bow. They rushed back to the harbor to check the well-deserved, and sure enough. And on the bow of the boat, there's only one anchor, and there should have been two. Up next, will the missing anchor lead cops straight to the Hawks? It was the most devastating thing I've ever heard. Utterly diabolical. He used his kids to get two innocent people to trust him enough that he would go out to sea with them, and they'd let their guard down, and that's what happened.